In this video, I will show you how to easily capture leads and manage them. Whether you're new to Typeform or already using it, I'll show you how to set up a smooth system that will save you time and effort. By the end of this video, you will understand how to generate lead thanks to Typeform and HubSpot and what you can do with this data in Meg.com. The first element of the process would be to create a form on Typeform. This is where you will retrieve data from your customers. So let's create one. Uh, let's start it from scratch. Let's begin with contact info. So I will remove uh, the phone number and the company to keep it simple. Uh, so we keep the first name, the last name and the email. Let's uh, publish this. The name is my new form. We will come back later on this form to make it better. But now let's just connect it to make.com. So type form watch responses if you select this one the instant one it will be triggered directly when someone submit a form if you select this one you will need to run it uh, in a specific period of time like every day every week etc and you will retrieve all the new form but for this example i think the best one is obviously the instant one because you don't have to run it every time and this is in real time when someone submit it it will trigger the webhook here so let's create a webhook so you connect your account here you select the form id it's this one and you can click on ok now let's connect this to uh, our crm so I will be using HubSpot here, but you can use whatever you want, even a database if you use it as a CRM. But let's go on HubSpot. So I created an account. Uh, I am on my contact list and I have zero contacts here. So let's go here, uh, connected to HubSpot. Uh, let's create a contact here. So you connect your account, uh, same idea, uh, and you can click on OK. So this is basically an integration that you can do directly in Typeform. To do only this, you don't need Make. Uh, I will show you this in uh, the integration of Typeform. You go here on Integration, and as you can see, you have HubSpot. So basically, if you just want to transfer contact information from a Typeform to HubSpot, you can do it without Make. But it begins to be interesting when you start to add modules around it. So let's go back on Make so you can understand what I'm talking about. We will add some elements to the form that we can reuse later in different modules, treat them and create specific processes for it. So let's go back here on our uh, form. We will add two more requirements for this form. So let's add some content and let's add a, a, a multiple choice here. So we'll create three choice. The question here will be, what is your revenue? Let's say we have uh, less than 50K between uh, 50K and 100K and more than 100k uh, let me specify yearly okay and let's add a calendly link where people can uh, take an appointment with you so i will connect my calendly account so you can see so authenticate one-on-one -on -one free consultation and uh, skip details and let's click save Normally, we should have a uh, book an appointment like this. Now, let's publish this. Once we have this, let me open this. Uh, go back on make. And let's say I want to notify my team when a new customer book a call on Calendly. So let me add after this uh, a Slack module. Let's say I'm using Slack with my team. It could be WhatsApp or anything. Uh, create a message. Uh, select from the list, public channel. 
I've selected this one because I'm not using Slack. But if you're using it, you can create a specific channel just for this. And the message could be new meeting uh, booked with, let me go uh, down, uh, answer. Oh, yeah, we don't have it. Let me save this. Let me unlink this and let me just run this uh, once. So here this is waiting that uh, someone is filling a form. So here I will fill it. Like this, press OK. Uh, let's say this, press OK and book an appointment. Let me book an appointment on tomorrow this time. Let me just fill this again. Press schedule event and submit. So now we've done this, it should trigger this automation. Yes, as you've seen here, let me refresh this. And we don't have information. I forget something on the hotspot module. Uh, yeah, it's the property. Let me enter this. Uh, this is first name. Um, so this is this one. Let me add a new one. Uh, last name. Last name. Uh, this is this one. And uh, email. This is this one. And we can click on OK. So I've just changed uh, this module from the instant one to the normal one because I don't want to fill the form again and again for each test. So it will be easier like this. So let me run this. So let's refresh this. So we should have. Yeah. So we have the information, first name, last name and email address. Let me delete this one uh, here. One. OK. Uh, let's go back here. Let's plug it again to Slack. Uh, new meeting booked with. Let me remove this with first name, last name at uh, this link. Uh, so this is the channel. We don't have anything in the channel. So let me run this again to see. Now, if we go on Slack, we should have new meeting book with first name, last name at this link. What you can do also, for example, is to create a backup uh, for your data. So let's say uh, I create a backup on Airtable. So I've created a small database with first name, last name, email, revenue and Calendly link. Uh, so we can go here. It's untitled based. Uh, table table one the email is um let me close this uh is here the first name is here the last name is here um the revenue is here and the current link is here so again let me run this so we can see uh untitled page let me refresh this Yes, so we have the email, the first name, last name, the revenue and the calendar. So basically you have a backup in case you have a problem with your CRM. After this, you can still do some things. You can, for example, add a router like this. Have a multiple uh, paths. Uh, let's say I want to set up a filter uh, less than 50K condition. Uh, here is that the revenue, uh, let's not take this one. Let's take the one from, uh, the form, uh, the revenue, let's say it's equal to, uh, less than 50 K. Uh, this one is between 50 and a hundred. Let's do the same thing. Uh, this between 50k and 100k and this one 
more than 100k same idea uh no not this this more than 100k you have to be careful that this is uh strictly equal to what you have in your form so exactly like this is righted and here basically you can do a lot of things for example for each case you could uh, add them to a specific email campaign if you're using uh, instantly for example so you could add it to uh, a specific campaign you can do this for each element and for this campaign for example for less than 50k you could send them an email for a specific product that is low ticket for this for a medium ticket and this a high ticket and you can create a whole process for every uh, use cases i hope you understood why is it powerful to integrate these two tools in make.com because you can create a lot of complexity in your automation and create small processes uh, for different use cases as we've seen send uh, some messages to your team to notify them when a new appointment is booked uh, to create a backup on a database and to do a lot of things if you like this video i've made another one here on how to do sentiment analysis on make.com so you can understand deeply your customers if you have any question regarding this automation let me know in the comments thank you for watching